Hello guys, so my name is Yelena Brilliant. I'm the owner of Brilliant Massage and Skincare, but also uh, recently I wanted to get into uh, selling on Amazon and I'm going to show you how to utilize different tools and specifically today um, Helium 10. Now I'm just a beginner seller. Right now we have me and my husband in the works have three products none of them yet are live on Amazon and if they fail I will definitely let you know what those products were so please subscribe to this channel if you wanna find that out if they succeed uh, I don't know if we will reveal what they are or not because there can be a lot of copycats in, in this industry but we're definitely changing them uh, I mean, one product is um, private label, which I'm not really changing much, but other two products we're actually designing from scratch. We're doing 3D CAD molds and everything, and um, yeah, they're going to be awesome, I'm hoping. One of them, well, both of them are kind of like could be a giftable item, but they also have a great utility, like um, what they're used for as well. But anyways, so um, I tried Jungle Scout Helium, I have not tried Viral Lounge, but I kind of like Helium the best. And so I'm going to get into my computer and show you guys how to use it. And the other thing, you get free course with Helium 10 uh, with um, Kevin, De uh, um, no, sorry, King, Kevin King, yes. Um, he's a real seller, not like one of those fake gurus that pretend to have million dollar sales on Amazon, but all they actually have is million dollar sales from the courses that they're selling. So be aware of that. Um, if you do buy a course, it's good because you got everything in one place that you need to know versus picking different you know, videos there and there and there. So I'm not against the courses. I just think it's very important who you spend money uh, on what course to make sure that you're getting the most up-to-date information or information, you know, that is, uh, that doesn't go out of date. You know, the quick get rich schemes are, don't work, they're gone, forget about it. That's not reality. So let's get to my computer. So, product research. Have black box here, and this is where a lot of gurus teach how to, you know, enter this minimum uh, price uh, monthly revenue. Okay, let's see. Let's put twenty thousand in here, minimum. I'll do 3,000 I and the reason why for that is because something that's not a good product but still sells 3,000 if you really improved it and made it a good product could sell probably 5,000 or or 10 so not and you have like quite a few of those products you'll have pretty good revenue so I don't really go for a crazy like product that sells really well uh, then price would be, I don't go for cheap products, so at least 25 because the margins are really low and I'm willing to like $100. Review count, maximum, let's do 200 But honestly, this doesn't always matter. Review rating. Maximum four stars. I don't want anything five stars because it's already very good product. There's not much you gonna improve. So this would be if you wanna number of images, maybe max five. Sorry guys, I just realized I didn't tell you why I chose five max images. It's because that means the listing is not well optimized. If you have a lot of images which i think amazon lets like eight to nine depending on the category then that means the seller is good seller so we want sellers that are not very good at amazon optimization to compete with because we are good at it. we are going to be good at optimization 
and let's see the sales period number of sellers next to because I mean sometimes Amazon sells it and so I want to move the camera here and sometimes the um, the other um, you know other if it's you know not private label there will be more sellers so I want to use like private label private label and um, let's see fulfillment uh, I don't care right now because if you find something by fulfilled by merchant um, it's really good for if you come in with fulfilled by Amazon you know you have more sales now uh, title keyword research let's see let's have Let's have something with ice cream in summertime. It'll probably be like a. It could be all year round product. People making ice cream at home. It could be seasonal. Uh, uh, categories here because I selected already the keyword, so category might not matter that much. But you could select categories. I think. Okay, so. Arts and crafts, automotive. So, only kitchen and this be like kitchen dining. Maybe, uh, let's see, taste from the food. But, you know, ice cream that's gonna be kitchen. Maybe art, something to make regarding that. And okay, so let's search now. And let's see what we got. Um, okay, so three stars selling 6,000 gold ice cream maker. Tango and to Gravel family. Two spatulas for healthy woman. Hmm, that's kind of interesting, but only 38 reviews. Kitchen A. Maker. Now, these are electronic products, so something to keep in mind that you would need permissions to sell these items and you would need um, certificates from factory for approval to import that in the US. It's advanced product, ice cream, unicorn, cat. Don't sell veg eats, not a good idea. Um, hmm. So we didn't get that much. Well, let's look into this one just for you know for comparison. But this is the products you would want to go into if you were not you know afraid of electronics because there's definitely something wrong with it that you could change it and improve. Let's see, so these. This one has more reviews, more expensive. Hmm, but this one also has bad reviews. Let's see here. Where is the bad reviews? Oh, lack of directions. So that's just a problem a lot with Chinese manufacturer. It does not work. Barely oh. stays plastic, not terrible. So very poor quality. So you could create a much better, have good spatulas, make sure that it's cold, you know, get a good factory to make you a good one. And um, so then what you could do, then what I would do if I find something like that, then I'll just go here and Amazon. And See. see, there's room for improvement still, but let's see how competitive is this. Um, I mean, there is mostly same ones here, and then you can use um, let's see, the fave right here, helium which is free, you don't have to pay for helium and the um, desktop version too, you can just um, 
pay for extra features. Okay, well now this is, so I'm gonna remove the sponsored ones. Then what, what's the problem is why I don't really look, don't care about the success score because it's a, um, because this is, you see how many different products that don't even match what we search for. So you would really need to delete this, this, because this is not, th those are like, not something we're gonna sell. So that way you get better idea. But anyway, so I'm not gonna do this now for the time. So let's see, you see this one is selling 42,000. Hmm, okay. Now I wish I could go back. <laughs> Where did my good ones go? This one, 8,000 with 54 reviews. Then we have, hmm, okay, that's similar, but large one. We have, where was that? Okay, this, so 42,400. Okay, it's, I mean, if you had released a much better product like that, um, maybe you would be able to compete with those that already have a lot of reviews just because you see there's still space on number one page and I mean they, those are sponsored here so that's the same this one and this one this one is different oh, ice cream but um, none of them have five stars I mean four four Three and a half so now I also use general scout too on to kind of see what you know sometimes the revenue can be different a little bit but yeah so let's see here and I'm gonna go into desktop version to show you so Let's me track so I can track uh, products. I was tracking here some stuff. Uh, I was tracking some stuff. This back stretcher at the beginning, I thought it was like the best idea ever, but it's not. So that's why I still use the Jungle Scout. I signed up for a year membership. I might not renew anymore once I have my. Um, here connected account to Helium 10. Okay guys, so you saw the um, how you kinda, you can find certain things in certain niches with maybe interests that you have. Um, and then what you can do, I really like this, um, and then what, See competitor, so let's see. Okay, this is the best seller ice cream thing. Let's see. So, this um, app gives you the, the ace and grabber. This, and you can see what keywords people are finding this ice cream maker. You could target ice cream maker for kids, but I don't see as people oh rolled ice cream maker get okay two thousand searches for that. Okay. 
Now the other thing I like to um, add helium is, let's see, yeah, they have this keyword, keyword scout, let's see, Rolled Ice Cream Maker. I've had rolled ice cream, it's kind of like Asian thing. And what I like here is how easy to rank for certain keywords. So that ice cream machine would be hmm, easy. I thought that would be hard. And ice cream makers easy. Hmm. Okay. Ice cream maker for kids. I think someone could really come in, maybe compete in that. Um, but I'm, I don't want to do an electronic project at the moment because we already have any pretty things from scratch from other products. But but yeah, if you see this, and if you're a beginner, you know, don't do electronic product either. But this is just gives you an idea how to to do it. Um, yeah, so, you know, those are both different ways. Um, and there's magnet as well. Let's see. Helium 10 has lift listing of optimization. I use more Helium 10, so I use just Jungle Scout kind of for mostly this keyword stuff. I'm not connected my Amazon accounts to here. Um, yeah, that's for professionals here. Once you are ready to launch your product, you will use this lift listing optimization. Kind of helps you to make sure you have all good keywords and description in your listing see that's marketing there but for now you know that's why you need product and keyword research um hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you have any questions i'm not a professional yet but i've been learning so much every every single day i listen to videos from different people you know they say listen to many follow none because there is no one way to success in this you know some people say oh don't do this don't sell these seven products no you can sell anything you can get ungated you can provide documentation you can get permits if you work with you know reputable products whatnot we have benefit because we have a sourcing agent like a friend in china so that is really helpful but you know you could also hire those people or consultants so uh, yeah if you want to get helium and free training please don't spend millions <laughs> on all these other expensive trainings because helium has training everything in one place um, actually, the ice cream maker that I was talking, I just realized after I finished recording that it's not electronic. It's like you just freeze it. But what I'm thinking it could be the product that might have like a patent on it. So that's the other thing you need to look. You think, oh, I found the winner. You know, always like on Fiverr, you can have someone to look at it. And if you want even more in depth, you can hire attorney it's going to be more expensive but if you really really strongly consider that product it's worth it than having to scrap all the inventory later just to find out that it had a patent hope this helps now of course helium 10 is not the only way or the best way to look for products but it is a really helpful tool 
Now, you, there's a million ways to look for products. Etsy, you know, even just looking things around the house or um, Pinterest and, um, you know, random things like trinket stores, like gadget stores, stuff like that. So, good luck guys. Let me know if you have any products on Amazon or want to have them in the comments down below. But e-commerce is definitely the way to go. Everything is going to be online like 50 years from now. And now already is kind of. Hope you have a brilliant day. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. Bye now.